They None can't. of y'all are hating on me. They can't possibly comprehend the life that you live or what you've been through. I've been through a lot. They don't know that you went to the military <laughs> like 17 years old. They don't know. I've, I've really been through a lot. And you know, face open. You know and what and like I say, number one. like I say to everybody is like, we're all living the human experience. And I really feel like we're all just walking each other home. And I don't feel like mm. I sit high enough to judge anybody, yeah. you know, but, we're but Freddie, like you, each other home. That shit's, that's fine. That's a bar, right? That's a bar. You really could be there for your, for your son. That's some, I ain't mm. gonna lie. Like I, I, a lot of this shit is trolling, right? Like, I I used to fuck with Freddie Gibbs music, right? Like, uh-huh. I did. You know what I mean? I'm I'm clearly a Benny the Butcher fan of Conway the Machine, West Side Gun. You know what I mean? Like, shout out to those guys. Right. But, like, um, I'm a hip-hop head. I'm from Buffalo, New York. I lived out there for... 32 years like New York music how was, old are you I'm 38 <laughs> okay. you know what I mean so like it's <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm there for for that long and it's like that's home yeah so like I, I love hip-hop right you know what I mean so I heard Freddie Gibbs I heard of Freddie Gibbs but like the, a lot of it is trolling from Buffalo mm-hmm. I'm I'm like I fuck with Benny you know right. what I mean Conway and and we had them here I fuck with Benny you know too. what I mean yeah. and like when I, I I told Benny, I was like, yo, Benny, if you want to pull up, you know what I mean? Feel free to if you want to pull up tonight for the show. Um, mm-hmm. He thought about it. He dead ass thought about it. He's like, shit. You know what I mean? And then I saw y'all out in um in Texas. And, he, yep. and, and, and that shit was a fire scene. Y'all walking through and shit like that. Oh, you seen that? Yeah. I, that shit yeah, was I, had a, uh, I had five shows. Like, I, I'm getting to my music career. That's, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. Five shows is no small feat. So, um, it, it was honestly, it's like a full circle moment to me, like, to be performing at South by Southwest because I used to go, like, as a of fan. Course. I remember I was, like, 16, and I had, like, backstage passes to, like, Wiz Khalifa and Ty Dolla Sign. I don't even know how I got those tickets. I don't remember how it happened. I think I met, like, one of their managers. But, like, to be performing there. Big deal. And people, people just think I'm just a porn star. They don't think I can do nothing. And That's- I'm like, I really got to show people, like, I got. I can go to the range and show you how tight my groupings are. Like I can mm. really like jump out of planes and shoot better than you and do all kind of shit better than you. <laughs> but you're on the internet talking about how I'm just a porn star. You like gotta, you got to have a music video that kind of like incorporates. Yeah, well, I just right. dropped a single. Yeah, no, um, we saw. Yeah. Oh, you saw? Yeah. We I saw. feel so seen. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but hold on, because you had a lot of hair in that video. So I had a wig on. on. Yeah, yeah. I had a well, clearly. On. But but was that just to reach more people, or what was? Like- um, no. So I felt like so I was playing a teacher in the video, and okay. I just felt like that was more of a teacher look. Okay. I wake up every day and shave my hair off. Yeah. I can grow hair. Yeah, yeah. I just want my shit to be like a bowling ball. <laughs> like, stop. I saw you go live. <laughs> and and it, I, somebody said, uh, "Give me a give me a a ball head slap for the one time." And you fucking did it. (laughs) (laughs) The way he just said that was so sincere. I didn't think she was going to do it. You fucking did it. Because, all right, when when people go live, like, obviously now we're here in person, but it's different. Like, you you see people on live, people are on live. Okay, this this Snoop Dogg is live right now. It might be five seconds. Let me tune in. Okay, now you see Snoop Dogg reading the comments. Fuck, nigga, hit that blank. All right, fuck, nigga. (laughs) <laughs> I seen somebody say tap the ball head for me one time. She said, "What?" <laughs> I was like, "Bro, that's when I first peeped. Like, okay, she got." You some know what's so humor. crazy is like, I'm. Oh my god, I was class clown three years in a row. Well, the pit bull thing also. Set what does pit bull got to do with? <laughs> I'm gonna pull up a fucking picture right now. Okay, oh, pit bull. Is, is that what's going on with the ball head? He said <laughs> this. A, a, a wise man once said. Look, can't even get it out. <laughs> God damn. No, he said, time is not a waste of life and life is not a waste of time. So let's stop wasting time, get wasted, and have the time of our lives. Mm. Dolly. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Pitbull. She lives Dolly. By the I don't bars. listen to Pitbull, but she, she knows. The no, that's, yeah, a, that's yeah. a toast he did. That's like a. Yes. It went viral, actually. But it's so true. <laughs> but like, I, I always tell people, yeah. I have never pulled more hoes than when I shaved all my hair off. Like, they mm. love this shit. Like men or like. Men. Men, yeah, nah, it's, it's a look. They love it, like, when and first you, of all, I when love did you start it. Start the tats on the on the head, cause that's different. The tattoos, honestly, um, well, I shaved my head, and then I was like, I gotta decorate this shit, cause I got tattoos <laughs> everywhere else. You know, Word. I kind of looked like an egghead at first. Like, I was like, I gotta put something on there. 
you know? Just please take a moment. What is that? And oh, wit- that's me. And witness the greatness. I was Pitbull for Halloween. And you Yo, killed it. No, you got to like. I, I know, but time out. When you had the, when you had the phone like this, I thought it was Pitbull. I'm like, I did not. so good. I look just like him. Snap. Now Sue. swipe over. Yeah, keep, yeah, right. No. So I'm looking at this before <laughs> the interview, and then she's going live before the flight to get here. She really, she really went for it. Because, be, you know, before, before we meet. <laughs> hey, yo, you know you, what I'm Motherfucking researcher. I ain't know, I ain't know this I shit about you. I got to do diligence, bro. You going to be on the show. I love man. that. I love that you research me. You, you yeah. got to. And then it's and then so show us the OnlyFans account subscription. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dale. Oh, that's fucking dope. <laughs> hey, you killed that. Is this, hey, <laughs> are, they, are they? Yeah. You got it. Yeah. A one. A one. Somebody just text you. Well, what, what, what's your Instagram? Tell everybody your Instagram. My Instagram is at the Fit Mommy. No, 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 no. So why are you saying that the Fit Mommy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get past. My girl's big into fitness, right? Like she's, I could tell she looks amazing. She's a beast. Yeah. yeah. I was just telling my boy this. Uh, I was telling Brad this. I'm like, yo, when you talk about like that gym life, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a beast. Like, But I definitely chilled out a little bit because of mm. the kids, right? Like I'm like, I'm, I'm one of those kids that I, daddy wasn't around. You know what I mean? So like okay. I'm, I'm right up in the game. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. You're going to see me. Yeah. You know what I mean? My son's going to see me gonna every single me. mother. Oh, I ain't going to the gym. Now you don't want me to go to the gym? I ain't going to the gym. I love that. And my, and my daughter the same way. Like, like I'm, I'm now I'm getting back into it. I'm like, let me not get too fucked up out here and, and, and be too lazy. Um, the comment section will but She's a monster in the gym. Like, Yeah, I can tell. I, she works out for three hours straight, five days a week minimum. Wow. And like... It's it's actually three hours in the gym. Like, oh, you can't be in the gym for now. Nah, I'm telling you, like, uh, I had hey. to stop going to the fucking gym with her. <laughs> Where I'm like, this is too much. Like, she when, when she's like, well, I just got two more sets left. Those two more sets is 45 minutes. You know what I mean? It's but 17 you know what? Things. Like, I respect the fuck out of that because it's, like, so refreshing to see a bitch in Miami without a fucking BBL. Mm, that is. Even, I, I, I'll never forget I got a couple's massage for us, right? And the, uh, and the and a Philippine lady was like, oh... No BBL. <laughs> oh. She's like, yeah, yeah, no, but she she's a beast. So good. She's like, she's like, no BBL. Congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> it's a feat. And and, and I'm not hating on bitches with a BBL. Like, let's yeah. let's start well, there. More but I to I, you. I love someone who who puts that work in. Yeah, fit, you know. Fit, so you man. were in that scene because she takes that shit seriously. Like, yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. like I, I I told her like t- t- two hour limit. Maybe like at the gym, two hour limit. Like we got kids, got you know what I mean? Do. Like two hour limit. She's like, you met me like this. Right. I need that gym. Like that's, that's but my that's, clarity. That's and so like, she's got her, she's got her three hours at the gym. Cause you like, know how many people meet their partner and let themselves go. Facts. Yeah. Like I, I would be, be encouraging her to keep doing that shit. Yeah. Cause bitches be getting comfy. Facts. You feel me? Men and women. Yeah. Men, and Men and women. women. Yeah. I think about it. You, you seen it, right? Ten, That's the first thing I seen yeah, when I ten weeks ago. And you know she, what I mean? she, she had was a baby. like, she had that baby. Yeah, she looks great. Yeah, That's yeah. Crazy. So like you, you and your your fit mommy, right? Yeah. Nah, I don't do this. No, no, no. You got well, it. I I I say it loosely now because I don't do bodybuilding no more. No, no, no. So That's I'm, I'm like talking that. about that though. Okay. You're in that scene. You give it all up to be a mother. Right, like in a sense, you're you're competing. When you say you're competing, I know firsthand that competing is not like regular shit. Right, I was I was doing it. I was doing it with my husband at the time. So remember, I told you I was working at Olive Garden. Freddie won. Fred Fred won. Yeah. Fred Fox. Fred F one. Fred Fox. Fred Fox. Okay, cool. Now we know where Fox comes from. Yep. So, um, my yeah. So I was working at Olive Garden. I had just left the military. I was doing double shifts there. And I was prepping for a bodybuilding show. So I wasn't able to eat the breadsticks and all that shit. Shit. But I would wake up at like 4 a.m., go do cardio, go to esthetician school from like Mm. 8 to 12, then go to Olive Garden from like 1 to 6, and then stay from like 6 to 10. Wake up and do cardio at 4 a.m. It was a lifestyle, Mm. you know? And I was little. I was like this big around. Um, When you say like... The competition you were doing is exactly for what? It, it was. I was in the bikini category. I was in the bikini category. So you're not. Yeah. You're not 
like it's not bodybuilding. It's not like strong woman. No, 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 no. I mean, it was still. Bo- it's a it's a category yeah, 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 in bodybuilding, yeah, but yeah. it's more it's more of like um, aesthetics. Aesthetics. Okay. Uh, you can yeah. Keep the titties type shit, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, y'all could see pictures and shit, but it was it was something that I was so dedicated to at that time, and I was you know a mom, so that's where the fit mommy came from. Yeah, mm. yeah. But I'm about to change that. So if your wife wants that username, (laughs) she can have it. (laughs) Listen, anybody and everybody I know that has been through some shit, if you are lucky enough to find your way to a weight room, there's no better way to get through it. No better way to work through your own demons, battle your demons. throw that. Yeah, it it really is a therapy. I'm talking a personal journey. You don't necessarily need nobody to be there. I know people talk about, I just want somebody to keep me accountable. Right. Somebody to spot me. Fuck all that, bro. You get you a 24 hour fitness uh, membership. If you ever been to the gym at 1 a.m., it's nothing but niggas chasing their fucking demons out. (laughs) That's true. I'm telling you and working on themselves, bro. It's like people talk about depression. Get you a fucking gym membership, yeah. invest in yourself, fix your fucking body, fix your fucking life up, get your mental health on in, in order. I don't care what you've been through. A majority of the folks I've been, I know that have been through some shit, if they find their way to a gym, man. Yeah, right. Wonders. Release the chemicals that make you it feel It does better. wonders, bro. That physical aggression just releasing everything. You're good to go. You're more peaceful. You're more likable. You're more patient. Right. Everything. 